Hello my dear sons and daughters today we are going to discuss an exam paper for grade 6 for the third term test so i invite you to subscribe my channel and stay with us first you pause the video and answer to this given paper and after that you listen to the video First question, write down the letters marked on the circle given below. So, on the circle, the letters C and D are marked. The answers are C and D. Then second question, find the value 456 multiplied by 6. 456 multiplied by 7. We have to multiply uh, each digit by 7 here. 7 times 6 is 42. Two, 4 is remaining. 7 times 5, 35 plus 4 is 39. Then 3 is remaining. 7 times 4, 28. 28 plus 1 is 31. Uh, 3192 is the answer here. Then uh, third question. For third question, you are given this abacus. This is the abacus given for you. Uh, then we are asking, write the decimal number represented by the abacus. What is the decimal number represented here? 3.02. This is the decimal number. Then question number 4. Write the number given below in standard form. 43,054,000. million million. Uh, then 54,000. You have to put a zero here. 54. Then uh, for uh, units on you have to put, uh, put another three zeros. Question number five. Select and write down the units used to measure lengths. Here uh, we are given milliliters, centimeters, then kilograms, uh, square centimeter and meter. Out of these, centimeter and meter are the units used to measure lengths. So the answer will be centimeter, meter. Then question number six. Uh, you are given a number line here. Number line from uh, minus 3 to plus 4. I will draw it. Uh, minus three, uh, 3 to plus 4. This is the number line given for you. Mark the numbers minus 2 and uh, plus 3 on the number line. Minus 2. And plus 3 can uh, be marked like this. Then in the second part you are asking use the symbol uh, greater than uh, to compare the above two numbers. Uh, we can write 3 is greater than minus 2. This is the way we can uh, compare the two numbers here. Question number 7. Write the number of edges. And the number of vertices of the regular tetrahedron. In the diagram you can see a regular tetrahedron. Uh, it has uh, six edges and four vertices. Then uh, six edges. Six edges. Four vertices. Then question number eight. What is the opposite direction to the southeast? If you take the uh, directions chart uh, like this, this is the north direction, this is south, this is east, and this is west. Then uh, where is southeast? Southeast is here. So the opposite direction will be northwest. The opposite direction here is Northwest. Uh, 
देन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन सुनील लेफ्ट द स्कूल एट वन थर्टी वन फोर्टी फाइव पी एम एंड ही टूक थर्टी फाइव मिनिट्स टू टेक रिटर्न मिनिट्स टू रिटर्न होम एट वट टाइम ही रिटर्न होम क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन हाउ टू फाइंड दैट वी कैन एट थर्टी फाइव मिनिट्स टू वन फोर्टी फाइव पी एम Uh, in standard form, I can take one forty-five as thirteen hours, forty-five minutes. Then thirty-five minutes should be added to this minute side. Then uh, zero. Uh, then uh, we get eighty here. We can't uh, keep eighty here, so we have to take sixty minutes into the hours side. Then here remaining is twenty minutes. Then uh, this fourteen hours, twenty minutes. Oh. Uh, in local uh, time, you can uh, uh, express it as two twenty p.m. Then question number ten. Name two herbivorous animals in the group of four-footed animals. You can take examples as uh, deer, deer, then cow or elephant. Animals like this. These are herbivorous. Then question number eleven. What is question number eleven? Write down. Uh, write down the following statements are a known constant or an unknown constant. Number one is given. Question number one. Um, Number of players in a cricket team. That is a known constant. The answer, known constant. Then second part, the number of bricks needed to construct a wall. That is also a constant, but we don't know the uh, value here. That is an unknown constant. Question number twelve. Write two thousand fifty grams in kilograms. Two thousand fifty grams. First, we will separate uh, this uh, amount into uh, heaps of thousand and the remaining part. I can write like this: two thousand grams plus fifty grams. Uh, then this two thousand grams uh, can be uh, represented as two kilograms. Then how to uh, convert this fifty grams into kilograms? We can divide by thousand. Then this is in kilograms. And uh, now I can remove zero and zero. Then uh, two kilograms plus. Then here zero point zero five kilograms. Then uh, by adding these two uh, numbers, I can take two point zero five kilograms. This is in kilograms. That means two kilograms, fifty grams. Question number thirteen: When a certain number is rounded off to the nearest multiple of ten, the value obtained is fifty. Write the least number and the largest number that this number can take. What is the least number here? Least number should be. Uh, forty-five. If it is uh, rounded off to fifty, that is for, that should be forty-five. Then the largest one, largest one should be fifty-four. These are the answers. Then question number fourteen. Write the ratio uh, two to seven in symbolic form. Two to seven can be written like this. Then second part. Write an equivalent ratio to the above ratio. You can uh, multiply uh, these both terms by any number. I'll uh, first multiply by four, then you get four to fourteen. Then again you can multiply by any number. Five. I'll take five. Five times two is ten. Then five times seven thirty five. A ratio like this. Then question number fifteen. Write seventeen using tally marks. 
we can uh, represent like this this is uh, five heaps then uh, it represents 10 then 15 again 2 is remaining then uh, question number 16 find the area of the square shaped lamina of side length 1 cm underline the correct answer if the uh, if uh, one side is 1 cm in the square lamina you can obtain the area by 1 cm multiplied by 1 cm that is 1 square cm so fourth answer is correct here then we will move to question number 17 now Question number 17. The price of 8 exercise books is 280. Find the price of 1 book. We can find 280 divided by 5. Then the price of 1 book is 35 rupees. Question number 18. There are about 50 peas in 100 grams. Estimate the number of peas in 1 kilogram. In 1 kilogram, there are 1000 grams. So, we can estimate the value by multiplying 50 peas by 10. That is 500. Then question number 19. Question number 19. We are given uh, these, these two fractions for simplify. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 3. We can take equivalent fractions as uh, the denominators are not equal here. The first fraction uh, do not unchange here. Does not unchange. Then uh, we can take uh, multiply this fraction both by 2. Then you get 5 over 6 minus 4 over 6. Then you can uh, simplify the two numerators here. 5 minus 4 is 1. So 1 over 6 is the answer. Question number 20. There are 20 girls and 25 boys in a class. Write the ratio of the boys to girls in the class in the simplest form. The ratio of boys to girls. Uh, boy, there are 25 boys, so 25 to 20. Then you can divide by 5. Both terms can be divided by 5. Then you get 5 to 4. This is the answer.